welcome to the low energy playthrough of Dark Souls 3 Cinder Mod. Cinders, Cinders, whatever. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, this mod adds just an absolutely amazing amount of new content. Yes, indeed. Almost doubles the amount of weapons. It is called Lothry. Adds a ton of new spells. New enemy placements, new area interactions, converge. and I figured I'd play through it. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. This will also be the first time I've played through this game with DLC in it, so. I expect to get absolutely wrecked in the DLC buffed areas of this mod. That said, I have tested to make sure that this works, and there's a lot of things you can do right off the gate that you used to have to play through an entire game to get to. I have noticed that at least one boss has been changed, and I fear for my life if all of the bosses have been buffed similar to him. Saren's undead legion, the abyss watches. Uh, it would be so easy to mod in, like three more affair and watchers and make that way harder. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. Yon the giant. I've heard that the Yorm and Ancient Wavern fights have been made a lot more doable without cheesing. So, if and when I finally get there, I'm probably gonna try and hack at his feet till he dies. Truth, the lords will abandon their thrones. What is that a dark sign? I never noticed that. I haven't watched his cutscene forever. And the unkindled will rise. Gamers rise up. Nameless, accursed, undead. Unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that Ash seeketh embers. And now, character creation screen, right? So first things first, you may have noticed that I have been set as deprived. That's because they have changed and added a lot of classes. Basic Knight, Thief, Sentinel. Oh yeah, that's a Zwihander. Mercenary, Wayfarer, that's a Murakomo. Bestock, Studied the Blade. Axe and axe accessories. My baby Claymore. Uh, looks like this class just starts with the dragon stones and a weapon I've never seen before. I think for this frame, uh, playthrough, I'm gonna try for a kind of faith based build because I've heard they've done a lot with how spells work, and personally, I like running away and throwing shit at people. And healing seems like a good auxiliary for that. Play a female, because why would you ever choose not to? Uh, I don't know. Just go factory default name. Now there's a lot of burial griffs and I have no idea what the actual meta for these are. 
but there's an Estus shard and Undead Bone shard here now. Some of these gems have had their names changed, but they're all still pretty clear. You get stone plates and ring of seal protection. I have no idea what these fingers do. Or these elixirs. I'm just going to take an Estus shard because healing is always good. I'm not going to mess around too much with my character's look. I mean, come on, it's Dark Souls. Unless I spend a lot of time panning around, I'm not going to be seeing it. And we awake to not be in the starting area. Ashy Nessus Flask, first thing. Wait, what? Cleric's Parma. Spell Parry. That's a... interesting addition. Looks like I got no hands. A lot of the weapons and armor in this game have been given new effects and are called a lot clearer. Wait, why is this Prince Lothric? Sir? Am I Prince Lothric? No. But, so it looks like my armor all gives me health regen. That seems fair and balanced. Longsword, always a classic. And a chime. There's a lot of things I really like about this mod, but one of the best is something I'd like to show off right now. That was a lot of FP, but look at that. I am regenerating FP. So, you may have noticed I just came out from the area where good old Swordmaster is usually. I don't know what happened to him. That I am just picked up. Let's see what it does. Temporarily increases faith. Temporarily increases faith. So I guess I can use that for a temporary stat boost if I want. But the more things change, the more they stay the same, and I found that this area is mostly unchanged. I just accidentally weapon arted, but I forgot that I have a really good weapon art. Dogs scare the shit out of me. They're so fast. They make loud noises. And an ember. And I can just walk in. Is that an item over by... What's his name? Yes, it is. What does it do? Oh, this is the coveted uh, co-op item. It lets you just summon a Solaire who fights with you. Which is like having a summon, but it's offline. All that I can do. I've also found that you can transpose from the start of the game without getting uh, the item for it. There's also a fuck ton more things to actually make. I've heard that you can actually treat the fight she is. Refight bosses in this mod, but I'm not sure if that gives you their souls again. I mean. A lot of things have changed, a lot of things have stayed the same. As far as I know, no NPCs have been added to this area. Base, you still have to go out and find them. Is that a, just a skeleton? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, apparently. Oh, they m made a damage test skeleton so you don't have to go kill your waifu over and over again anymore. That's really cool of them. Pelvic thrust. Ah, oh, he's unaffected by pelvic thrusting. That's really cool of them. Really good design. Well, I am not as a fury the toilet led me, I am as He lets you reinforce weapons and now you can infuse weapons with anything from the base. You don't need to go and grab uh embers anymore. 
I'm just gonna quickly allot all my assets to healing because I have infinite FP. I just I'm gonna upgrade that real quick. Make sure. You can also now buy weapons from him. From what I heard, you can basically buy just like any con any weapon considered base by the devs or modders in this case. There's a lot, and I'm not particularly interested in going all through all of them right now. I think I'm just going to stick to good old longsword and whatever chime they gave me. Everybody loves you. Now he has a couple books here, and you can pause the video if you want to read them, but they're just basically tutorials on how the new enchantments all work. And this one is... Uh... More of that. Okay, whatever. Old hag is still here, but she now sells uh, different items. Expand your horizons. Disassociate almost... What the fuck? I don't know. Dried finger, white sign, soapstone still here, but now she sells upgrade stones. Oh, and uh, she sells all of the uh, talismans and spells. Catalyst, that's her name. Looks like the talisman has 110 base. What does mine have? 110. I'm probably going to be running a fairly standard max face damage build, as was very popular in the base game. <laughs> Faith builds. But, uh, let's rest of the bonfire real quick to get back with my Estus. And this shit's all here. So, you can do the PvP arena immediately. Burn under Bones Shard. I don't remember if that was in base game, but that was definitely in Dark Souls 2. You can sacrifice items, which I believe... Yep, you can sell them on the fly. You can forge items now, which lets you make certain consumables just anywhere for souls. It's really useful... Oh, I didn't know you could do... Uh, see the giant tea. It's really useful if you are a... Range character, because it'll let you restock on the basic ammo types. You can also now repair broken items at the bonfire, infuse and reinforce at the bonfire. Of course, the tuning spells is fairly standard, lighting Estes now. And level up! So, goodbye waifu, I will never see you again because I can just go to any bonfire now. Now, you may hear that in the background, that's a Titanite Lizard somewhere around here. Not exactly sure where, but... I really don't care to look. Instead, what I'm gonna do is go down and clear out the tutorial area, but from the other side. Uh, I got a holy fragment. I think I have a covenant item, which I will show off as soon as I. You see that duck? You see that duck? I'm actually the greatest player there has ever lived. No item. Worst mod, 0 out of 10. But, looks like we start as the Way of White. Which, now gives a bonus effect for whatever covenant you're at. Looks like this one gives me Estus Flask healing. And allows me to collect a special item from random enemies. I've seen a bit of this interaction. Basically there was going to be an NPC somewhere in the world who allows me to trade in those items that I get periodically for actual uh, useful items. Kind of like uh, the Death Eyes in Dark Souls 1, but now they're everywhere. 
And you have to kill specifically Bathlux. Okay, that's boss music. Because this is a boss. I have a bad feeling about this, so I'm just gonna run right past him. Will the game let me just run right past him? It looks like yes. What the? There should be a boss fog door right here. He can't come in. He can come in. Oh, and that's curse damage. Look at that. HP regen. Oh, that weapon art does not give as long red re regen as I thought. I love the epic music for me just bitching out completely against this guy. Can I hit him? Nope. Was the lock-on for these guys always so high? I don't know if it was because I always just killed them before they transformed. Well, I somehow hit the guy behind him. But, uh... This guy's eating a lot of lightning. I'm sure this is very interesting from a viewer standpoint. But, play lame win games. I'm not gonna have my first death be to an enemy in the tutorial area. Even if it seems like this isn't the tutorial area anymore. There we go. Cool, there's an item. Company of Champions. That sounds like a covenant. Oh! Oh, that's the difficulty increasing. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Oh, cool, another item. I didn't see this. Now I'm going to be totally honest with you. I fought in this guy before. He is not a joke anymore. He is a rather large threat, and I don't want to be doing that, what I just did over there for another 10 minutes, so... Fuck him. So weird having all that epic music to go into quietly running through. But let's level up while I'm here. Oh, my base stats. That's a lot of faith. I guess the uh, base game's got my back. I kind of feel like I need more health right now. And you may notice that I can teleport to two places. The high wall or the undead settlement. I can go with the high wall. My goal is going to be to kill Bort first. And through loading screens, you're going to see all kinds of epic weapons that I may or may not ever find. Now, it's subtle, but this is not where the bonfire is in Dark Souls 3 base. This is actually much further away. Also, ring to increase health. Very useful. It's no Ring of Favor and Protection, but that's pretty goddamn good. But th over there is where the bonfire usually is. Ah, goddammit, dog. <sighs> Which means that I have to go through this every time I want to get to back where the normal start of this area is. Does that fall off damage? No, that's just... Ow. Cocky. Way too greedy. Ow. Fuck. No. 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 You don't get me like this. Now 
Now, I know in base Dark Souls 3, this base that basically worked as long as you had the chime out, I think. It's way worse now. I mean, it makes sense, since FP is infinite. wonder if it stacks. It kind of looks like it does. Don't get, take my word for it. I'm n by no means an expert. And now there's a knight here. Ow. Play late and win games. Ow. Ow, he outranges me so much. Shoot. Ow. Ow. Come on, I'm a parry god. I can do this. I think spell shield parry, uh... Spell parry? Yeah. Shields actually have awful parry frames. Oh! Doesn't matter. Extra parry. Ah! I don't even think I'm getting partial parries off this. Oh! Parry god. Gotta be quiet for the air horn sounds. I'm not going to bother to edit in.